Hi everyone, it's Karen from the Geordie Grandma. Welcome back to another Sunday Sunshine Show. And this week we have a guest, and that is Amanda Oak Ince, who is another lovely YouTube lady who does lots of Poundland hauls, home bargain hauls, uh, decor. She does DIYs. I'm very impressed with her DIY skills. Uh, so she does lots of that kind of things. So it would be lovely if you could go across and have a look at her channel when we've done this video, as well as looking at the other Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube who are involved in the Sunday Sunshine Show. And that is Marie from Busy Bee Marie, Maria from Maria Crocker, and Tina from Tina's Talk Time, as well as myself, Karen, the Geordie Grandma. So as you know, if you've watched our channel before, and if you haven't watched our channel before, every Sunday morning at half seven, four of us bring you a topic, a video topic, but we, we bring you the same topic, but we all put our own spin on it. So you get four videos of the same topic, but each looking at it from a different way. And every now and again, we have a special guest on. So today, that is Amanda. Now, today's topic is a £30 charity shop challenge. So we've challenged ourselves to spend no more than £30 and see what we can get for that in the local charity shops. Now in the northeast of England, our charity shops at the moment don't have a lot in and I've found that for quite a few months now. There just doesn't seem to be much in. But I did find quite a lot. I've spent £27 and I've got a mixture of items. So I'm just gonna th go through them one by one um, and show you what I got. So the first item I got is this lovely Marks and Spencers summer top it's got a scoop neckline it's got a little bit of a bib detail there short sleeves which we all know i like um and it has got a little frill at the bottom this was three pound and um, it is in really good condition and i got it in a size 18 it is a quite a stretchy material as well uh, which i was quite happy with because i wasn't sure with being i'm a size 18 to 20 so i wasn't sure whether it was actually going to fit the next thing i got was also a kind of clothing item and it is a pair of red sandals they are uh, got like a raffia heel a little bit of a wedge they are like a red suede um material you've got a buckle at the side um and these are a size seven and i don't think these have ever been worn and these were five pound uh and they are from two at Sainsbury's. I just thought they were a lovely colour and a really nice height for me. So I'm going to put a picture in here um, of what I look like with the top and the sandals on. I just thought it went quite well with uh, my fantastic Roman Bengaline trousers, my crop trousers that I absolutely love. Uh, and I've got a red handbag and I thought that would go nice with the sandals. I know sometimes it's not very modern to match your bag and your sandals, but who cares? I like it. Um, so they were £5 and the top was £3. The next thing I picked up, now if you've seen my video recently of um, things to do in York, you'll understand why I picked this up. And it is a painting um, or a, a line drawing, I'm not sure which, of the shambles in York. And I just thought that was really, really lovely when I saw it and it was a pound. It was originally five pound, five pound each or four for 15, uh, but I got it for a pound. It does have a frame, um, but I'll, obviously I'll frame it in something else as well. I, I don't know if you can see that very well for the cellophane. I just don't want to take it off before I hang it. Um, but you can see it's kind of black and white and these people have got red umbrellas because one thing you can guarantee in the north of England is the rain. So I was happy to find that. The next thing I got was this lamp. I just thought this was so pretty. It's like a pink, it's glass. It's like a pink, um, it's got like a bobbly effect with a triangle, uh, not a triangle, a diamond design. And it's got a little silver base. Uh, it's quite deep. I've already put a lamp in and tested it and it had been pat tested. It said on the bottom as well, it had been pat tested, which was good. Uh, it didn't have a price on it when I saw it in the shop. So I asked how much and they said £5 and I thought that was well worth £5. So 
I bought that as well. So I'm just going to put a picture in here of what it looks like when it's on. I just thought it gave off a really nice glow and like the pattern it made on the table as well. Uh, it, that picture is taken in my sitting room. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it there. I may put it in the bedroom, but I just think that is such a pretty lamp. And for £5, I was picking that up. In that same charity shop, I think I got the the top and the shoes I got at a Bernardo's charity shop and the picture of the shambles and the lamp I got at Daisy Chain charity shop and I also got the next three items at the Daisy Chain charity shop as well. Now I picked up these two bottles, two exactly the same and these were £2 each and it's got like a blackberry etching detail on the front i don't know how well you can see that on camera but i just thought that was such an unusual bottle i don't know what that's been originally oh hang on it's got a sticker on it it says mondia mondian mondian i'll put it on the screen when i put my specs on and have a read but i just think that is such a pretty bottle there's no mark on the bottom um i just really like them and i saw there was two and I thought I'll pick those up because I can probably do something with them. I'm going to put a picture in here of a couple of ideas I had. So the first idea I had was using it as a bottle light. So I've got one of those string lights with the cork on the top that I've used with it. I think that looks really pretty. Um, but I also tried it with this stem. Uh, it's a fake stem flower. And I thought that looked quite nice as well. I also thought maybe I could turn them into lamps. Uh, I don't think that's that difficult to do. I would have to look it up and, ha uh, and see how that went. Um, but I could turn them into actual lamps and get a nice shade for them. But if you have any idea what I could upcycle these bottles into, I don't really want to damage the bottle, so it's probably not an upcycle. It's what could I use these bottles for? I'd really appreciate if you put your ideas in the comments section below. Uh, that would be really useful for us. So that's the two bottles for £2 each. And then Warren, who came with us, uh, picked up this little, it's like a little crackle glaze vase. Um, that is really, really pretty. I think that would also look nice with some um, bottle lights in it and the, the little cork that goes on the top. But that would also look nice with the stem flower in it as well. Just really pretty. He wanted it for his bar. He, he thinks he's going to have what he thinks. He's um, he's thinking about having like a little a little shelf in there that's got uh, different little vases and maybe he's coloured liquids in them. So it looks like a little bit of a portion um, shelf. But I thought that was quite a nice idea, but like Harry Potter or something. Um, but yeah, I really like the crackle design on that. I thought that was really cute. And that one was... Uh, two pound as well so they were all from daisy chain now because there wasn't a ton of stuff to find um in the charity shops i went for the jigsaws i love to pick up a jigsaw from a charity shop especially a sealed one and when i saw this one it's called the book palace i thought that's just me to a t that i love books i love bookshops and i love a jigsaw and i just thought the picture on that is really really lovely um and it's also got a little ginger cat on the front and we've got a ginger cat so it just called to us i had to pick it up this is a ravensburger puzzle a thousand piece and it's six pound so I, i've got a couple of jigsaws now um that are still sealed that i haven't done so i need to get around to doing that so i was happy to find that i prefer to pick up sealed ones because if you pick up a one that's opened the pieces might all be there, but I would hate to get to the last piece of a jigsaw and it'd be missing. It would just drive us mad. So I only pick up sealed ones. And the last three things that I got were books because I think this was indeed the jigsaw was from St. Oswald's and the books were also from the Daisy Chain um, charity shop that I mentioned. And the books were three for a pound that day I was in. So I thought, well, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? So I picked up three books. The first one is Best of Friends by Kathy Kelly. Uh, I think I have read a Kathy Kelly book before. It says, good times are bad, friends are always there. And it's about Abby, Jess, Lizzie and Erin. Um, it says tragedy touches the four women as they draw together in their sadness they realize that life is for living and they have to grab it in both hands 
sounds like my kind of book so i'm looking forward to reading that one the next one i got was none of this is true by lisa jewel her lies could kill you um two women two stories which one do you trust that sounded like something that was right up my street as well. I love a bit of a mystery. I'm pretty sure I've read a Lisa Jewel book before as well. Um, and it is a hardback. So, you know, being in the three for a pound, I thought was a real bargain for that. In this one, the title of it just drew us in. And the, the picture on the front, and it's called The Chilbury Ladies Choir by Jennifer Ryan. It's not the kind of book I would normally read, but it just, it sounded really nice. Kent 1940 in the idyllic vil village of Chilbury changes afoot. Hearts are breaking as sons and husbands leave to fight. And when the vicar decides to close the choir until the men return, all seems lost. It says it's an uplifting and profoundly moving book, exploring how a village can endure the onslaught of war. And I just thought that sounded really good. Um, heartwarming, uplifting. That's the kind of thing I want to read. So I'm looking forward to reading those three books and I will keep you updated in future videos as to what I thought of each of them. So those were everything I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 11 items for £27. So I don't think I did too badly there at all. Let us know in the comments below which item was your favourite. Is there anything you wouldn't have picked up? Is there anything you go to charity shops looking for? Just leave us a note in the comments below. I love to read them. So remember to go across and watch Marie, Maria, Tina and Amanda and see what they've done in their £30 charity shop challenge. I know Marie's will be uh, maybe a little bit different because their thrift stores around Las Vegas are a lot better than the charity shops up here in the north. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what she's got. And of course, I'm looking forward to see what all the other ladies have picked as well, because they live in different parts of England. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.